Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will tell you a few tricks that greatly increased my productivity in command line. They are about how to get to a folder quickly, how to get to a file quickly, and how to trigger a Veeam function quickly. Okay, first let's talk about the folders. folders. Uh, so typically um, you enter folder by typing cd and uh, the full path um, or cd to something else. You can see that's a lot of typing. And typically you just you probably just visit a few um, folders most of the time, say a few repos. It would be nice if, if we can type less, say just the repo name. And that is doable. And we use a, a program called Z. So we can say Z Gita. Then we go to the Gita repo. We type FZF, then we go to that repo. Or go to the download. You can see here we don't even need to type the full name. We can even type a partial name. So under the hood, the program, the Z program, uh, checks the history. And it, it knows uh, what folders you have been to, how frequently you visit them, and how recently you have visited them. And it builds a database, so uh, and assigns score to each folder. Whenever you type a keyword, it will enter the folder that matches best. Um, OK, there is a related uh, trick I want to talk about. So here you can see there are subfolders. So typically you will say cd into one of them. But you actually don't need to type cd. You can just say doc, then you go in there, and it can go out without typing cd. So this feature is built in, in bash. Uh, I think it requires bash 4.0. And it's this line, it's called auto CD. So if you turn that on, you don't need to type CD anymore. Okay, now next let's talk about FCF. Let me first show you what it does by default. So here you can see there are two files, outline and scripts. If I type FCF here, it brings up a menu and you can type up and down to pick uh, the file. And if you type enter, it makes the selection and it prints that file. It also has fuzzy match built in. So if you say out, then it only selects the one that has out in there. OK, this is actually a special use uh, of FCF. The default behavior is some kind of special uh, behavior. The, the general behavior is you pass some uh, text to, FS, uh, uh, to FCF, and then you can make a selection. Let me show you what that means. So let's print out the content of outline.md. We can pass that to FCF. It triggers that menu. Now you can do the same selection. Let's say. We want this line, okay? So you can imagine this is a very useful uh, behavior. For example, we can combine this FCF with the Z. And I already have this hooked up. So when I type Z without any uh, parameters, it actually brings up that internal database, uh, the folders that I visit often, and also that score, the matching score. OK, um, so when you install uh, FCF, it comes with many uh, aliases and functions. For example, if we want to kill a process, typically you will first check um, the process ID and then kill it. But uh, with FCF, you can just type tab and then you can go up and down or just type the name of that process. And if you type enter, it will kill it. 
Okay. Um, also, if you do Control R, which brings up the history, it automatically um, hook up with FCF, and you can just pick any specific one. Uh, okay. Oh, there's another one that I use all the time. That's the, actually the most useful one. So you can see here, if I'm at a repo, there are source files all over the place. It will be a pain to uh, um, to go to any specific location to edit the files. Typically, I'm always at the root of a repo, and I use fe command, which comes with fcf. It will bring up all the files uh, in that folder recursively. So I can type part of the file name and then go there directly. fcf also has a Vim plugin, so after you uh, uh, after you you open opens up the Vim, you can trigger the same behavior. I, I have a shortcut defined called a dash f, uh, comma f, to bring up uh, a menu. And you can do the selection. There's even a um, preview file uh, for a window there. OK. OK, now this brings, up to, uh, brings uh, us to the last topic, which is the Vim shortcut. Let me show you my Vim RC. So to define shortcut, uh, we need the leader key. By default, I think it's the backslash, which I don't really like. So I remap it into the comma. OK, so um, let me show you one example first, the comma B. So if I type comma B, it creates a, a vertical split, which I use all the time. But in reality, comma V is nothing but V split command. Yeah, it just give you a shortcut. So I have many similar things, um, like comma S saves the file, um, comma H, oh sorry, comma H, it um, does the vertical split. Yeah, and the comma Q, it uh, quits the file. And even if you have many things open, I have a comma E that exits everything, like so. Another thing I use quite often is uh, the Vim tabs. So typically, I will open a second uh, split, then go to different parts. And then I want to know, say, the YouTube function. OK, maybe split again. Maybe I want to know um, more, uh, see, see more files, say conf test. So I, I define a shortcut uh, comma n to open a new tab. So if you want to go to different tabs, you just do comma one, two, three, four. Just comma number, you will go to a specific tab. Okay, that, I think that's all for today. Uh, I will post the links to the programs in the video description. Um, thanks for your watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, bye.